today is issues and challenges in cloud based business models okay and uh, this is topic of uh, subject cloud computing for business the subject code is kmb it03 so these are some references for further study about the topic uh, first is your textbook second is your reference book and uh, third fourth fifth and sixth are some good blocks that you may refer for further study about the topic okay so uh, as per this study as uh, mentioned here right scale 2018 state of the cloud report these are some uh, cloud uh, challenges that are mentioned uh, in this study okay so most of the respondent uh, have uh, uh, suggested that security is uh, uh, is of utmost concern okay while dealing with cloud based environment okay so uh, here is the percentage of uh, uh, significant challenges in uh, dark blue and uh, somewhat of a challenge in light blue okay so out of uh, i means uh, uh, out of uh, these uh, cloud vendors as well as uh, cloud uh, uh, clients uh, 29% of respondents have suggested that security is of utmost concern okay uh, uh, as this uh, significant challenge and uh, similarly 48% of uh, people or respondents said that somewhat of a challenge as security okay similarly for managing cloud spend 21% people voted for uh, this uh, significant challenge and uh, 55% some what of a challenge similarly for lack of resources or expertise 27% people voted for significant challenge and 46% of people voted for some what of a challenge okay what is uh, lack of resources or expertise means you, you do not have uh, appropriate skill sets or resources to uh, deploy cloud uh, uh, related uh, environment for your organization okay or cloud related solution for your organization so that is basically 27% significant challenge and uh, 46% some what of a challenge okay similarly for governance purpose governance is what means governing something or governance and control purpose uh, uh, there are uh, 25% of people said that uh, it is significant challenge and 46% of people uh, uh, voted it for some what of a challenge okay similarly next is compliance what is compliance means following some certain standards okay as uh, standards or guidelines uh, decided by controlling authorities as well as government okay so 21% of people found it as a challenge and 47% uh, of people found it somewhat of a challenge means in up to some extent okay and uh, next is uh, managing multiple clouds what is multiple clouds basically nowadays like having multiple suppliers we are also having multiple cloud vendors for uh, our business related solutions okay so uh, managing multiple clouds is uh, a difficult uh, process i think uh, it is uh, means uh, it is difficult to manage uh, multiple clouds okay so this is uh, uh, 22% of people found it significant challenge and 41% of people found it of some what of a challenge okay similarly uh, in terms of this performance what is performance basically expected outcome versus actual outcome is there uh, any gap in between that is basically the performance deviation okay so 14% of people rated it as a significant challenge in terms of cloud environment and 41% of people said that that is somewhat of a challenge okay similarly building a private cloud 20% of people found it as significant challenge and 33% of people found it somewhat of a challenge okay so if you see the total percentage of security so that is 29 plus 48 means 77% people voted for security as a cloud challenge okay so these uh, this is uh, basically the list of various cloud challenges that we face nowadays in cloud enabled environment or cloud based business solutions okay and uh, this study uh, supported by this right skill 2018 state of the cloud report okay so the first uh, security uh, first uh, challenge in uh, cloud based environment is security so security issues so security risk of cloud computing have become the top concern in 2018 as 77% of respondents stated in the referred survey 
okay and for the longest time the lack of resources or expertise was the number one biggest cloud challenge okay so in 2018 however security is ahead why security is ahead means uh, next is this uh, 27 plus 46 okay so some what uh, percentage uh, uh, in terms of so if you talk about the percentage so there is uh, basically the difference of only 4% in between these two terms security and the lack of resources or expertise okay so that means if you talk about security versus this lack of uh, resource or expertise so there is a minute different in between these two okay so uh, in 2018 however security is the head while you are auditing a provider's security and privacy laws make sure to also confirm the third biggest issue is taken care of like compliance okay this also should be considered over there so your organization need to be able to comply with regulations and standards no matter where your data is stored speaking of storage also ensure the provider has strict data recovery policies in place okay so the security risk of uh, cloud uh, computing have become a reality for every organization be it small or large so that's why it is important to implement a secure bi business intelligence uh, uh, cloud uh, tool that can leverage proper security measures okay so that is a challenge uh, nowadays if you manage security on priority that means uh, you are satisfying your clients okay as compared to your competitors and you will definitely uh, build a good brand in this field okay next uh, uh, challenge is uh, this uh, uh, cost management and containment so what is cost management and containment basically it involves a lot of uh, investment uh, initial investment basically okay so the next part of our cloud computing risk list involves cost for the most part of the cloud computing can save business money so in the cloud an organization can easily ramp up its processing capabilities without making large investment in the new hardware okay most of the people uh, like uh, earlier people are using to adopt this erp based solutions and for that they need to deploy in house data center okay and uh, they need a heavy investment over there but nowadays people are involving this cloud based environment so they don't need to have uh, 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 as large uh, hardware uh, part as uh, as compared to this erp concern okay so businesses can instead access extra processing through pay as you go model from public cloud providers okay means uh, how much you uh, how much data you have uh, or how much data you store over there you will get charged for that okay so however the on demand and scalable nature of cloud computing services make it sometimes difficult to define and predict quantities and cost okay sometimes you are unable to detect, uh, detect or identify what are uh, the quantities of data that you actually require and what are the cost associated with it okay so luckily there are several ways to keep cloud cost in check for example optimizing cost by conducting better financial analytics analytics and reporting automating policies for governance or keeping the management reporting practices on course okay so that these issues in cloud computing could be decreased okay so lot many companies are working nowadays uh, for this uh, cost management and containment part so uh, the player that will manage this aspect uh, will uh, lead uh, uh, over their competitors okay so this is another challenge in this field so, uh, third challenge is this lack of resources or expertise okay so one of the cloud challenge uh, challenges companies and enterprises are facing today is lack of resources and expertise okay organizations are increasingly placing more workload in cloud while cloud technologies continue to rapidly advance okay so due to these factors organizations are having a tough time keeping up with the tools also the need for expertise continues to grow so these challenges can be minimized through additional training of it and development staff so a strong cio 
championing uh, cloud adoption also help means you need to uh, put uh, the skilled staff over there to take in care of uh, all such uh, infrastructure that are uh, uh, that uh, you require to implement cloud enabled environment okay similarly sme small and medium sized uh, organizations may finding adding cloud specialist uh, to their it team to be prohibitively cost okay prohibitively costly okay so luckily many common tasks performed by these specialists can be automated so to this uh, end companies are turning to devops like uh, what is devops basically development and operationals means uh, uh, they are uh, looking uh, towards consultancy regarding developing a cloud based business solution as well as make it operational or make it functional for that organization like chef and puppet to perform task like uh, monitoring uh, usage pattern of resources and automated backups at predefined time periods okay these tools also help optimize the cloud for cost governance and security so nowadays people are looking for uh, ready made solution customized solutions so uh, you need to take in care of uh, the complete uh, the need for your uh, clients okay and uh, to manage it uh, appropriately so that uh, you can get market share or you can grab market share over your competitors okay so that is also another important uh, challenge that you need to uh, you need to consider while dealing with uh, or uh, while uh, working in this cloud based environment business solution or you are providing cloud based uh, cloud enabled business solution so that case uh, you should uh, take in care of this factor means lack of resources or expertise and you should uh, provide uh, uh, appropriate uh, means uh, guidance as well as support to your clients uh, as they require basically okay so next is uh, this uh, governance and control part so there are many challenges facing cloud computing and governance control is in place number four okay as per this survey so proper it governance should ensure it assets are implemented and used according to agreed upon policies and procedures okay so ensure that these assets are properly controlled and maintained and ensure that these assets are supporting your organization strategy and business goal like nowadays if, uh, uh, if you go for this governance and control so if you talk about control in between these two parties means uh, cloud vendor and cloud uh, cloud client you will see that uh, there is a specific uh, service level agreement sla is there okay to control both the parties uh, in uh, different different scenario as well as uh, some uh, industry pressure is also there some government regulations are also there okay and uh, so all these uh, comes under this category of governance and control part okay so in today's cloud based world it does not always full control over the provisioning deprovisioning and operations of infrastructure so this has increased the difficulty for it to provide the governance compliance risk and data quality management required so to mitigate the various risk and uncertainties in transitioning uh, to the cloud it must adopt its traditional it governance and control processes to include the cloud to this effect the role of central it team in the cloud has been evolving over the last few years along with the business unit central it is increasingly playing a role in selecting brokering and governing cloud services so on top of uh, this third party cloud computing or management providers are progressively providing governance support and best practices so nowadays companies most of the cloud companies are working towards providing better governance practices or better control practices to its are uh, they are offering better control practices to their uh, uh, clients basically okay they are providing proper logs proper history proper cookies to uh, check uh, whether uh, all the things are okay or not and uh, 
you are having your uh, internal IT team also to manage or to take in care of uh, such uh, cloud based business solutions. So that is basically the fourth uh, part of uh, our uh, fourth type of challenge uh, that you face in cloud based environment that is governance and or control. Similarly, the fifth uh, uh, fifth uh, cloud challenge is this compliance means one of the risk of the cloud computing is facing today is compliance. OK, so that is an issue for anyone using backup service for cloud storage. Every time a company moves data from the internal storage to the cloud. OK, and it is faced with being complained with industry regulations and laws. For example, healthcare organization in the USA have to comply with HIPAA. Okay, HIPAA is what means Health Insurance Profitability and Accountability Act of 1996. Okay, similarly, public relations, uh, public retail companies have to comply with SOX, Servants or Oxley Act of 2002, and PCI DSS payment. Uh, card industry data security standards like uh, if you are a e-commerce industry and you are providing a e-commerce portal to your client client in that case you need to provide them safe payment gateway or safe payment mechanism okay for that you need to deploy some standard okay so this is basically the requirement basically compliance requirement okay so depending on the industry and requirements every organization must ensure these standards are respected and carried out okay so this is one of the many challenges facing cloud computing and although the procedure can take a certain amount of time the data must be properly stored Okay, so cloud customer need to look for vendors that can provide compliance and check if they are regulated by the standard standards they need. Some vendors offer certified compliance, but in some cases, additional input is needed on both sides to ensure proper compliance regulations. Okay, like if you are opting for a cloud vendor and uh, uh, you are offering, you are uh, looking for services uh, for uh, that perspective, you are uh, uh, visiting uh, that uh, cloud vendor. But uh, if you want uh, to follow some standards or follow some compliance also, then you will look for additional services uh, that uh, that cloud vendor offer to you. Okay, so basic, basically next uh, challenge is this compliance part. Okay, next is managing multiple clouds. As I have told earlier that uh, like uh, uh, we are managing uh, multiple uh, suppliers and uh, we are facing uh, a challenge of having uh, multiple suppliers. So in that case, uh, we are choosing or we are opting for supplier based rationalization. Similarly, in case of cloud, if you are having uh, more than uh, two cloud uh, uh, partners or cloud vendors over there that are associated with your organization. So in that, that case, uh, to, to having your applications uh, in line with the organization's vision, mission and objective, you need to manage all those multiple cloud vendors that you uh, they are working uh, with your organization. Okay. So challenges, challenges facing cloud computing haven't just been concentrated in one single cloud. The state of multi-cloud has grown exponentially in recent years. Okay, companies are shifting or combining public and private clouds. And as mentioned earlier, tech giants like Alibaba and Amazon are leading the way. Okay, so in the referred survey uh, that has conducted in 2018, 81% of enterprises have a multi-cloud strategy. Okay, and enterprises with a hybrid strategy, hybrid strategy is what means combining both type of cloud. Even uh, community cloud is uh, two or more than uh, two types of cloud. Okay, like uh, public, private, high, uh, community or uh, something else. So fell from 58% uh, in 2017 to 51% in 2018. Like uh, I was telling about that uh, supplier based rationalization. So uh, by following that practices, uh, companies are moving towards uh, means 58% uh, of uh, companies are having this uh, in 2017, having uh, this uh, multiple clouds, uh, they are shifting towards means uh, they have uh, reduced to the percentage of only 51% in 2018. So while organizations with a strategy of multiple public cloud or multiple private clouds do slightly. 
okay so this is uh, basically another challenge uh, that uh, if you are having uh, more than uh, two cloud members so in that case you need to manage all those in line with your application is difficult okay so that's why you need to uh, uh, properly manage uh, those uh, cloud vendors basically next issue is this performance part so when a business moves to the cloud it becomes dependent on the service provider and who is service provider that cloud vendor okay so the next prominent challenge of moving to cloud computing expand on their partnership okay so nevertheless this partnership often provides uh, businesses with innovative technologies they won't uh, otherwise be able to access so on the other hand the performance of the organizations bi bi is business intelligence and other cloud based uh, systems is also tied to the performance of cloud providers when it falters okay so when your provider is down you are also down okay what is down means uh, you are uh, uh, looking uh, towards that uh, uptime when uh, while uh, dealing with this web hosting solution okay so what is basically uptime means uh, whenever you uh, switch on your application you get it uh, get it access from anywhere okay so that is basically uptime and uh, when your provider is down means server of uh, your uh, cloud service provider is down in that case you are also down for your customers okay so this is not uncommon over the past couple of years all the big cloud players have experienced outages so make sure your provider has the right process in place and that they will alert you if there is ever an issue okay so for the data driven decision making process real time data for organizations is imperative being able to access data that is stored on the cloud in real time is one of the imperative solution and our organization has to consider while selecting the right partner so with an inherent lack of control that comes with cloud computing companies may run into real time monitoring issues means uh, they are working and if they get uh, uh, approximately 100% real uh, uptime in that case they will work for uh, work with you otherwise they will immediately switch to the next uh, cloud vendor okay so make sure your saas provider has real time monitoring policy in place to help mitigate these type of issues okay so performance is another important issue that you need to consider while dealing with this uh, cloud uh, challenges okay next is building a private cloud so although uh, what is uh, private cloud basically it is much more safer or secure than the other cloud options okay but it is costly one so costlier one so uh, although the building a private cloud isn't the top priority for many organizations for those who are likely to implement such a solution so it quickly becomes one of the main challenge facing cloud computing private solutions should be carefully addressed okay so creating an internal or private cloud will cause a significant benefit having all the data in house but it managers and departments will need to face building and gluing it all together by themselves so which can cause one of the challenges of moving to cloud computing extremely difficult okay so it is important to keep in mind also the steps that are needed to ensure the smooth operations of cloud automating as many as many manual tasks as possible which would require an inventory management system like uh, you want to implement uh, some uh, um, means uh, crucial uh, information uh, with the private cloud so in that case you need to uh, deploy it carefully by providing uh, all the factors uh, that your client consider as important okay you should also consider them important okay so or uh, orchestra uh, orchestration of a task which has to ensure that each of them is executed in the right order means you need to uh, you need to means uh, you need to work upon uh, based on dedicated way to your uh, client uh, while uh, providing such type of solution means private cloud basically okay 
next is segmented uses and adoption what is segmented uses basically so most organizations did not have a robust cloud adoption strategy in place when they started to move to the cloud so instead ad hoc strategies is sprouted fueled by several components one of them was speed of cloud adoption so another one was the triggered expiration of data center contracts or equipment which led to intermittent cloud migration so finally there are there also were individual development teams using the public cloud for specific applications or projects these bootstrap environment have fostered full integration and uh, maturation issues including like isolated cloud project lacking shared standard ad hoc security configurations lack of cross team shared resources and learning so nearly half of the decision maker believe that it workforce is not completely prepared to address the cloud computing industry challenges and managing their cloud resources over the next 5 years since the business are adopting the cloud strategy more often than ever so it is imminent that workforce should keep up and uh, carefully address the potential issues okay so you should uh, deal with such type of issues like uh, segmented uses and adoption what is segmented uses basically uh, nowadays uh, you are uh, not mapping all the business processes in cloud enabled environment okay you are using it uh, in uh, modular form okay so if uh, somebody or if your client is asking for uh, some modular solution then you should provide uh, that modular solution or you should implement that uh, cloud enabled uh, modular solutions for your uh, client basically okay so you should uh, provide uh, uh, means uh, that uh, security mechanism also as well as uh, what type of uh, cloud options your uh, client is looking for you should provide okay so these are some uh, major challenges in this uh, field uh, means uh, cloud uh, uh, in the field of cloud challenges okay another important uh, challenge is this migration what is migration means switching towards uh, uh, switching towards uh, non cloud based uh, environment to cloud based environment okay so one of the main cloud computing industry challenges in recent year concentrates on migration okay so this is a process of moving an application to the cloud so and although moving a new application is a straight forward process when it comes to moving an existing application to a cloud environment many ch cloud challenges arise like here is the list of uh, some uh, most common cited uh, uh, cloud challenges while uh, while considering this migration part okay so a recent survey conducted in velostrata showed that over 95% of companies are currently migrating their applications to the cloud and over half of them find it more difficult than expected projects are over budget and deadline as i have uh, told earlier that uh, a lot many uh, failure uh, case studies are there in comparison to uh, this uh, success case studies okay so if you uh, go towards uh, this cloud adoption so most of the companies uh, that are facing uh, major problem as this so over budget and uh, ex uh, exceeding the deadline so these are the most common uh, challenges associated with this migration type of uh, uh, challenge okay so what are the challenges uh, faced uh, during uh, storing the data in the cloud most commonly cited were like extensive troubleshooting security challenges are there slow data migrations are there means uh, uh, they are not uh, meeting uh, the deadlines properly migration agents are there okay cut over complexity and application downtime so these are some of the problems associated with this uh, migration part okay so this is all about the challenges uh, that we faced in cloud based environment here are the list of references that you may refer for further study okay so thank you